July 1943. After the battles during the winter of 1942, a bulge in the front line seems to be the ideal place for the Germans to start another summer offensive. They plan a pincer attack to encircle the Soviet troops around Kursk. The attack starts on July 5th. On the 7th, the northern pincer still hasn't gained real momentum. This is caused by fierce Soviet opposition and well-prepared defenses, layered deeply and protected by millions of mines. The German 9th Army under Model struggles towards Poniri and Olkhovatka. Their goal is to push through the defenses here and march south. The area around Poniri becomes the stage of one of the fiercest battles ever. Attacks are met by counter-attacks and every house is being contested. The Central Front under General Rokossovsky is determined to stand its ground come hell or high water. You will be in charge of the defenses in this mission. You will have to face the onslaught of the enemy's main attack. Make sure you cleverly place some mines between the tank ditches to stop enemy armor from breaking through. If they do, fall back to the second line of defense. Defend every house, every shed and every chicken coop against the fascist aggressors. Make sure you hold the second line until our comrades of the 13th Army are ready to join you for a counterattack. Make the motherland proud. All right, here we are. The boys are almost done placing over 500 mines, getting ready for the German advance from the north and the northwest. Let's go ahead and finish off with anti-tank mines. We've got about uh, 465 out of 500, so we're going to try to just randomly place whatever mines we have remaining. They did a fantastic job of placing mines near roadways, bushes, barriers, whatever else. I'm going to try to do a hodgepodge of different types of uh, anti-personnel and anti-tank mines wherever just to get this done. Hopefully that'll be enough to complete everything. Now, uh, one thing that we want to make sure we do here, too, is bring all of our troops back to our side of the uh, barrier here, the wire. So let's go ahead and ask anybody who's idle. Let's go ahead and just get them up in one group. What essentially we're going to do is when the enemy attacks, we're going to take all of these troops here. And uh, all the engineers, we're going to try to keep them together and probably, you know, down on their bellies somewhere on near the second line where you see tons of barbed wire, tons of anti-tank ditches or rather anti-tank traps and also trenches that'll stop the Germans. It'll kind of be our inner defense and then the final last defense around Panyuri Station here. Yeah, this is actually part of the Battle of Kursk, which I had totally forgotten is a battle that takes place in uh, right, or, no, Red Orchestra 2, which is amazing. Red Orchestra 2 was an amazing first-person shooter and uh, really was great uh, to introduce uh, me to a lot of skill or rather uh, team-based building, like skill-based type stuff where you're more focused on working as a group rather than just being a lone wolf. So a fantastic game that, uh, of course, introduced me a lot to squad and then eventually things like Hell Let Loose. All right, well, we got uh, 10 more mines to go. Well, let's go ahead and bring everybody on the inside. Now, I'm assuming the Germans will attack with artillery, and then we'll see infantry and tanks and uh, increasing aggressive attacks that are going to be very difficult to repel, which is why we have multiple lines. Like, it's not going to be an easy fight just because we placed... Damn near 500 mines at the moment. A couple more to go. Let's go ahead and make sure all of our troops return. And hopefully try to get everybody on our side of the line. There we go. Lay down a vast minefield beyond the anti-tank ditches. All right, let's get everybody orders to retreat to our side of the line. Come on, boys. Everybody get, get on. Let's go. All right, now it's going to be morning. Early morning. We uh, have placed the mines. Now we're going to have uh, a later morning. And there we go. Oh, and artillery already starting. Here it comes. All right, the Germans are attacking. They've already breached the outer defenses, and here comes a lot of uh, artillery. Taking down trees, destroying already existing barriers, barbed wire, possibly some mines of ours, too. Heavy artillery. All right, and all of our troops retreating to our side of the line, hopefully. It looks like uh, most of them have made it. There we go. And most of them have actually breached the uh, barbed wire, which is actually kind of bad news. It means that the barbed wire is not entirely solid, but it is a massive line. You can see barbed wire going on for a very long distance. All right, looks like we can call in infantry squads. Let's do that. We're going to try to keep these troops defended. What the hell is that? Ah, oh, Nebelwerfers. That's what, 15 ce uh, centimeter? Yeah, Nebelwerfer 41s firing off. And uh, tanks are probably going to be approaching from this same direction, too, as well as infantry. And it looks like 
our troops are in good shape. All right, so we've got our innermost defenses around the train station, the 37 millimeter there, and also our ISU-152 are parked nearby. Uh, so that way we can go ahead and try to defend uh, the train station. So the line itself is mostly along this road. You can almost, if you look very closely, you can see anti-tank mines, mostly anti-tank mines uh, placed. I prioritize that. Infantry will be a little easier to deal with than the tanks. And the Germans may approach with, uh, well, I mean, I'm calling on my knowledge of what, occurred in Call of Duty and, uh, you know, elephant tanks, as they call them, coming out. And uh, great to see this battle, too, in, in Red Orchestra, uh, which was a fantastic game. Red Orchestra 2 uh, introducing me to a lot of that awesome skill-based uh, defenses. That is just phenomenal. Focusing on leadership and more in those games, eventually making way for squad. I will never forget it. I just absolutely love it. I, I will mention it time and time again since we're defending... On your station. There it is. It all costs for 30 minutes now. German forces approaching. German tanks are here. We have information the fascists, fascists are using a new type of tank. Watch out for those. Yes, the fascists are coming with their new tanks. Zippity zoppity doopity. Here they come. And there go their rockets. All right, fascists are rolling down the streets and the avenues and the farm fields. Look at that. Panzer 4Gs are on the way. Panzer uh, Ms and also Stug 3s are on the way. What I don't want to see is Panzer 1s with the uh, modification. There's uh, some line breaching Panzer 1s that are heavily armored that are kind of more focused on breaching lines and uh, deflecting shells and uh, destroying mines, which would be bad for us, especially since they're harder to destroy. And if they're focused on destroying the mines, it means less actual tanks that we will be able to take on. All right, well, we've got some troops coming in. Uh, we're bringing in squads. We're also going to bring up some ammunition, especially for those anti-tank guns. We're going to need a hell of a lot of those. What is this? Oh, the Stug is uh, this indicator here. All right. Well, they're already taking shots from some of our anti-tank guns. We have 76 millimeter, 57 millimeter here. There's our 76 millimeter, 57, and of course the uh, Su-76, which is chewing them up too. And shoot up itself. Let's go ahead and bail out of that. See if we can salvage that thing. Well, unfortunately, we cannot. But I didn't expect that thing to last very long at all, really. All right, let's go ahead and get some more infantry squads up here. We'll flood them into the village. I honestly thought that SU-76 would be killed before it even got a shot off. So the fact that it may have hit something is uh, a godsend, really. More artillery trying to hit our lines. Oh, it's coming close. That's not good. And we're bringing up more ammunition for those AT guns. These are really the only AT guns that we have on the line. Like, there's really nothing else around. So let's go ahead and get these troops in position. We do not have enough time to get everybody all the orders that they need to uh, defend themselves appropriately in a trench or whatnot. And we could dig foxholes all day for these guys, but there's miles and miles of trenches dug, so we're just going to go ahead and hold these guys in the rear until we take some losses, and then we'll plug the holes with those. Looks like we've got an AT gun here damaged. That's a 57 millimeter. Go ahead and bring some engineers up to fill that gap as well. And see if we can keep that AT gun fighting. See, we've got... Uh, munitions coming up. Keep those guns firing. It looks like uh, Stug 3 destroyed there. Not really moving anymore. Nebel Warfare is in the back. Not really a threat at the moment. Oh, SU-76M here. Pointing down the railroad tracks. That's good. Good spot for it to be. Not bad. And it looks like uh, AT gun repaired. Somewhat. Looks like it's fully crewed, so that's good. Right out with our riflemen. Nebel Warfers are firing off again. Go ahead and get somebody in that trench. Could probably put our machine gunners there, but we're going to put lighter defenses on the outside since it's so uh, robust. Very large defense. And we'll try to keep some more of our fighters a little closer in. So let's get these guys on the second line. 
might not be necessary. We might be probably wanting to put everything on the front line, but since this is the first peak of the mission, we don't know exactly what will be occurring shortly. Could be a massive flank. There could be artillery that forces us to retreat. Yeah, I've seen it all with these types of games. Any sort of thing is to keep you on your toes is welcome by me. Got a train standing by, too. These trains essentially are just here with, uh, well, dropping off the initial troops and mines, more than likely, uh, to bring all that stuff to the front line. So those were more than likely loaded up onto the trucks, brought to the front line, given to the engineers, and that's where we started. 25 minutes remaining. I am not fearful until we get down to about the last 10, because that's when we're going to be the most whittled down. And that's why we want to try to keep as many of these riflemen alive, but... Also, we don't want uh, the enemy getting too close to our lines. Essentially, the riflemen are just kind of supposed to be cannon fodder for the artillery guns, the, uh, uh, the AT guns that can uh, fire upon the enemy's tanks as they get closer. We've still got one Panzer III there, but since it's disabled, uh, more than likely, well, actually, I'm not sure. Is the crew dead and the vehicle just running? Uh oh, never mind. Now it's moving. And here comes the Tiger! All right, we got some Tiger tanks first time on the field here for our current battle. And that means there's going to be many more in this battle as well. Bring up some more supply. How are we doing with those? Uh... Actually, we could bring some supply for this AT gun as well. Nice thing about those uh, ammo boxes is they do come with free... Oh, we could actually res recrew this weapon. It only took damage to the crew, but the vehicle itself is functioning. Not bad. Go ahead and get some of our AP miners in there. We, of course, we could spend all of our time mining continuously as well, but the time for the battle is now. Enemy approaching with Martyr 2s, Duke 3s, Tiger Tank approaching with infantry on the back. A couple of crew members bailing there. Not crew, but People riding along to get to the front line quicker. 37 millimeter firing off nicely. AT gun. 57 millimeter against the Tiger. We should have a win there against the Tiger. Oh boy. Gonna try to hit that uh, driver's port. But eventually we will break through. Oh, gun there is damaged. Repair. Eventually that tank will take enough damage to where the crew will bail, but that is a pretty tough thing to beat. Usually you either hit it the first time or you have to hit it continuously and break through on the 50th time. Oh, it looks like more ammunition has arrived. Excellent. Go ahead and scoot up a little closer to those AT guns. Ah, uh, SU-76 destroyed. Alright boys, go ahead and set it down and hop into those trenches. Keep those AT guns firing. Alright, hey, actually, the Tiger Tank's the only vehicle out on the field. And it's been tracked. That means the enemy's gonna approach from some other direction soon. Is this AT gun ready to. Oh, nope. Alright, we need to um, get that AT gun ready to go again. A few repairs are needed. All right, so that gun will be repaired. The Tiger is just kind of waiting to die. Just needs to be finished off, hopefully queuing up another wave of attacks on our position. We're ready for him. Just need more AT guns. Get more troops into our positions here on the line. Well, relatively uneventful for now. Oh, 
Oh, are you guys out of it? Oh, wait a minute. We might need a repair kit for that AT gun. Let's go ahead and see if we can get one from the uh, SU-70. Oh, it's completely destroyed. Um, maybe one of these trucks here. Oh, yeah, we got repair kits in these vehicles. All right. We'll have those troops come over and grab repair kits for the infantry on the AT gun. All right, well, us and the Tiger are kind of at a standoff right now. There's not much going to go on for a little while. How are we doing on the uh, 152? Ah, hell, let's go ahead and put an ammo crate next to that as well. Yeah, not very smart of us to leave all these troops here out in the open, but honestly, knowing how things may be scripted, the enemy may already know where the trenches are and they'll fire at those. There could be aircraft coming in, too, that will target that. And finally, we're starting to see some action in the north. Tiger tank and a Panzer 4H coming in now. Looking good. And more artillery. Uh-oh. The enemy's got 12 centimeter mortars now. 120 millimeter times three. That now the now the attack begins. Now we're talking. 19 minutes remaining. It begins. Serious business now. Let's go ahead and have somebody grab a bunch of uh, supply. For, uh, yeah. This uh, AT gun might need to be repaired several times if it survives. So since we have no vehicles other than that. ISU and a small, a couple of small AT guns. We'll just go with what we got. Oh, look at that. AT guns are down to half already. Again, with the supply. What do we got over here for AT? All right. Uh, forget the other idea. We're going to go ahead and supply these guns real quick. Is that a F-22? No, it's a <laughs> 1933 field gun firing at a... Uh, well, fairly soon we'll be firing at a modern Tiger. Wow, look at that thing take hits. Coming in close. Keep firing, boys. Oh, wow. Crew have been knocked off the uh, anti-aircraft gun there. Uh, we got medics, but they're basically just attached to a squad. We should probably try to keep the infantry alive. Losses are going to happen. Uh, again, I truly wish medics were automatic in this game. So many times that they're... Oh. Well. Hold in one. Congratulations, Germany. Wow. Alright, so an HE shell coming directly in on a ammo crate and just obliterating the gun and all the crew around there. That is a big fat F. Down below in the comment section, boys. Damn. And that is why usually in these uh, episodes you may have seen me always putting up the uh, ammo crates rather than vehicles. Because that will happen with a vehicle too. Ammo crates as well, obviously. But um, much harder target to hit. But damn. Uh, sniper. Tiger tank right there. Luckily though, the enemy is very far away. With their vehicles. They're not able to break through yet. Mortars are coming up, but they're just hammering defensive positions. But if they can't get close with their infantry and tanks, they can ha hammer us all day and not really do much in terms of gaining ground. So let's go ahead and try to uh, add some more ammo here to where we could be attacked. Good spots over here for more ammo. Trying to get another crew up. Now, let's keep all that infantry in the back. Commanding officer here. We have a tiger and a... Well, actually, it's disabled, isn't it? Yep. Or not. Well, I don't even know. I mean, it looks like they hit several mines. Something hit mines. And then tracks are repaired, but then they're not moving. But they might be making a wise choice of repairing the vehicle and then not moving due to the fact that there's a giant minefield around them. 
they realize the trouble they got themselves into. Alright, let's go ahead and fill that position with more infantry. They're going to make it harder for us with not having anti-tank, then we're going to make it harder for them. Wow, just getting pelted. Well, they're taking good side shots. Tigers are a tough nut to crack, but they will break eventually. Wow. Germans going into an anti-tank ditch. That's going to be a hard spot to get out of. It looks like the turret can actually aim up over the edge of the uh, ditch. I, I can't believe that. Go ahead and call up another squad. I can't believe that it's not destroyed. Let's see if we can fire... No, we just got AT. Another one showing up. Ah, even more now. Near the railroad tracks. This is why we need so much ammunition for the amount of pelting that we need to do just to kind of keep the uh, Tigers at bay. The smaller tanks are not a problem. The Tigers are going to continuously kind of fire back at us. And as you see here, decrewing guns and being a pest. We're mostly harassing each other, really. What do we have for ammo? Plenty of ammo. Go ahead and repair. These guys on the gun. Crew knocked out there. All right, a lot of units on the north side trying to break through. Tiger tank as well. Let's hit him with AT mines. Ah, the troops are smart enough to stay in the trenches. Hell yeah. Nice, a Molotov hitting the back of that tank. Will it cause an engine fire? It looked like it hit right here in the center of the uh, engine compartment. Let's hit it again. Infantry trying to overwhelm it. Go ahead and throw a smoke grenade there. Oh, hello. We've received additional reinforcements. Try to keep the Germans at bay. Well, that's a delight. All right, nine minutes to go. Reinforcements have arrived. Supply truck here. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do with that. Let's go ahead and try to make uh, an improvement to this north side. We'll have to have our tanks kind of advance in a group. All right, very nice. 
nine minutes to go. Get the infantry up here. Ah, we have some crack Soviet troops here. Very good troops. Uh-oh. Another group bumping in here. Okay. Now, as for the supply truck, um... Not exactly sure where we could make use of this, so we'll leave this in the back and let infantry return. Alright, looks like they're deploying... Artillery to help with the assault. Three groups of Soviet troops ready to go. Ah, oh, damn. AT gun destroyed. Hate to see it. Well, let's just buy time by going into the trenches. I think if we bring up our tanks, it's really going to be a sacrifice to the tiger that might be there. Oh, they have a Brumbar coming in, too, a Sturm Panzer IV. Keep our tanks in the rear. Call in some additional reinforcements. So what we're going to do now is try to lock down around the train station. It looks like the defensive line itself is okay, but they're going to just try to make a initial breach and go tra... Uh, straight for the train station. That The train station's the main goal here. And additional infantry has arrived. And we could call up another group. 150. And we're going to keep them back near the train station. As for the breaches... Definitely more on the north side. Now, I could bring the tanks up, and they would probably kill a few enemy tanks, but... We could also lose these tanks, too, and not be able to use them for further aggression. It looks like the Germans are really picking it up now with additional artillery. And other forces being brought in. Looks like the highest chance for a breach is here. Oh, there we go. The Ferdinand is here. Tiger there is still being a pest, but so long as everybody's staying down, they should be okay. Some of our troops kind of just chilling. Okay. We'll kind of keep them spread out. Mostly stopping that assault. In the northwest. I'm actually shocked that the Soviets, or rather the Germans, are still riding on the tanks. The uh, Soviets being smart riding into this area here and then hopping off. But uh, the Germans are riding right up to the door. Yeah, again, it's very difficult to babysit all these troops and try to get the medics to work on each individual. I, I would hope that if medics were nearby some of these troops that they would help, but it's, it's too much to manage at the moment. I just saw some support legs for an AT gun go flying, or an anti-aircraft gun, so we're really being whittled down now. Five minutes to go. We're going to get all those infantry squads locked in. We're going to expect a breach from this side. ISU is there. An AT rifle on the front line. Interesting how they can enter it. That's cool. They're not taking cover there, but they're entering it like a building. 
Alright, we're going to try to repair an SU-76. Tigers are firing like crazy. For the most part here, I really don't want to bring forces up because the Germans have been... Well, they've basically been stopped from all the anti-tank mines that are around. They're really concentrated here. I am kind of allowing for a breach here. Wanting the Germans to get a little closer so they can meet the ISU. Funnel some more troops into this defense. Take out that Tiger tank, I think we could just get a some sort of an explosive from these vehicles. Uh, let's not... Oh, wow, we actually have mortars. Let's not get the uh, machine gunner there. Three minutes to go. I'm not sure what the objective will be next. Could be a more advanced wave. Or the Germans will just be like, okay, we're out, bye. And then return to Berlin. Damn, I was hoping for some sort of a satchel charge here. Oh, there it is, yes. Go ahead and get two for the Tiger. And we'll go ahead and see if we can sneak right up to that Tiger. Very surprised infantry are not coming up to the Tiger. Uh, enemy infantry to defend it. Lots of troops coming through. Ferdinands are trying to fire off. Lots of heavy guns, but the infantry is kind of just buying time. Look at that. Medic standing right there, man. But honestly, what's going to happen is we can keep healing these troops over and over again, but their predicament is not great. One, we don't want to fall from the line to save the lives of our comrades behind. And two, continuously healing them is only going to do so much until an 88 finally kills the whole squad. But they have to get through all those minefields, all those barriers, and then the initial riflemen, Molotovs, and other AT uh, weapons before they reach the station. We have plenty of anti-tank grenades, but just need to get close enough to use them. Oh, speaking of which, I forgot all about this. Uh, fire in the hole, boys. Uh, let's see if we got... What the hell? What happened to those satchels? Did I click on the wrong guy? The hell? Yeah, to hell with it. Oh no, don't do that. Oh, I thought we had an AT grenade. It's just a uh, smoke grenade. All right. Oh, huh. that's interesting. Somebody had satchel. What the hell happened? We'll do it again, but we only got 40 seconds left. Germans have finally started to breach the line. Tanks are starting to take notice. Let's get next to that Tiger. We'll bring up the Medic, too. Wow, would you look at that? Sturm Panzers are taking shells right through the side. Oh, yeah. Penetrated right through, skipped off the ground, and went right into the tank ditch. What is this? Officers on the line? I, I don't know what the hell the Germans were going to do with that. I guess infantry squads coming up. We've received further reinforcements. It's time to drive the Germans out of here and bring their offensive to a halt. Ooh. Plenty of artillery. Alright, so we got plenty of artillery. 
plenty of artillery. Plenty of tanks. Let's go ahead and get our uh, Katusha here ready to go. We got a Katusha, boys. SU 152s. Looks like this one fired. It is low on ammo. We're supposed to push the enemy out, but, um... What do we got here? Anti-aircraft and... Oh, okay. A supply truck. That'll be good for the Katusha. We'll go ahead and park that here. Go ahead and get some infantry on the line. Ah, it looks like the guy carrying the charges didn't make it. Oh, that's an interesting saga. Alright, let's fire off our Katusha. see what we can do with that. Now we also have some heavy ass artillery guns, but aside from hitting this tank, I don't even know if it'll be worth it. stuff going flying lots of stuff on the screen now lots of explosions it's not firing We'll have to do it ourselves then. Wow, did you see that shot? It went right through the uh, Panther, the Panzer rather, and into the Martyr. Awesome. Wow, nice. That looks like it hit one of the Panthers. Panzers, rather. If we don't see Panthers. All right, I'm assuming we're supposed to be counterattacking here, but honestly, it's... Uh, they're picking it up with their attack. Back it up a little bit. I'm going to keep some of these tanks in reserve, just in case there's a breakthrough. You know, we have artillery. Should we just have our artillery? Let's fire at will. At any target you may see. And I'm going to authorize firing at that target. Seems realistic to fire on our own troops, you know? We're just, we're just maintaining the realism, that's all. Just keeping it real. Alright, so now the Katusha's reloading. A nice tank kill from that bad boy. Good job.
Wow, we got troops in the back line. I guess this is another purpose for our supply, too, is these uh, artillery guns back here. Well, we got some free supplies sitting around. So we should be able to have individual troops come over and grab those supply boxes and bring them to the uh, artillery guns. We have anti-aircraft. I don't know if the enemy's even going to call over. Ah, yeah. Hit our own lines. If we show the Germans we're crazier than they are, we're going to have a good time. Oh, wow. Look at that. SU-152 uh, was taken out a little bit. A little damage. Nothing that won't buff out. We're fine. A couple of tanks taken out, actually. All of them. All of our tanks taken out. Every one of them. Wow, every tank on the line was taken out. Thank goodness we actually concentrated our forces. Well, now we've got a little reason to use these guys. Time to fortify the train station a little bit more. Drive the remaining Germans out of Panyuri. Now we could... Hopefully we can clear out those anti... You know, actually... Do we have the range to hit these? I doubt it. German Nebelwerfers kind of stop really even trying. Call up another supply box. Where are those supplies approaching from? Oh, they're coming from down here. Okay. Well, we're probably better set just letting them come to us because of all the wrecks in the way. They're going to have to get through a lot of their own tank carcasses to get to us. But there's way more of them than there are of us at the moment. Well, let's just make do. Wow, oh, that tiger there is smoking and... Massive ass artillery guns, still not enough to take it out. All right, Tigers rolling forward at full speed. Time to dance. I might actually track those vehicles. Keep repairing. Filling in those trenches, all right. Yeah, they're trying hard for the station. Another infantry squad will slow them down. I think we made a good use of our tanks in the right spot. Oh, that is totally fine. That'll buff out. Oh, wow. All right. It'll buff out, and we need a little paint job. That's all. It's fine. It's totally fine. Katusha's fine as well. Everything's fine.
All right, let's call up another squad. All right, Panzer IV there should be the last thing we have to deal with on this side. Wow, they had like a convoy rolling in that got wrecked. I don't even... Yeah, this was just taken out by <laughs> our mines. I don't even think we had AT guns far enough out there to hit them. Nice. But now the artillery fire at... Uh, I guess that tank there. Go ahead and try to hit them. Let's have our artillery guns come back here. The supplies for the artillery guns come back here, that is. And the Katusha should be able to be repaired shortly and rearm. Ah, these are going to be boring to take out. Tedious. Alright, let's try to get that gun repaired. Okay, we're going to try to call in some squads, too. Alright, the Katusha is ready to go and is repaired. But obviously with the Tiger there. If we get into it, they're just going to shoot at it. Time for a little heroic act. Hope for a fire. Oh, damn. That thing was waiting to snipe us. Well, medic, see what you can do. Thanks at the train station are all right. We got our artillery guns still firing at that one tank. Alright, looks like the Ferdinand is coming up. Germans have a howitzer that they've rolled into the... Uh, wow. They're in a minefield firing... Uh, whatever they can. Alright, let's get this KV-1 working. Tiger looks abandoned. Okay, we'll park right here now that we got their attention. Now, I believe the engine is in the front in these, so if we throw it right into the center here, it's going to be bad news for the Germans. Come on. 
No, 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 go over here. Freaking beautiful. Love how he tried to get away from it, too. That was really something like you would see in Hell Let Loose or whatnot if crew had to deal with that. Let's go ahead and push up. We're gonna go ahead and put our units on uh, free move. Let's see if we can get them to move towards the enemy and deal with them however they can. It's a good method for cleanup. If that Panzer III is still alive, it does look to be. It's a mess. It's Kursk. Whoa, 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 boy. It's running out in front of the tank. What the hell? AV-1 should be able to be repaired. Go ahead and try to deal with the remaining vehicles. Really wish we had more uh, Molotovs. <laughs> Those idiots. <laughs> Throwing a Molotov at the back of the uh, Tiger there. Wow, the resiliency. Yeah, the AI usually can prioritize when you're trying to do something sneaky like that, which is kind of annoying when you're trying to do cleanup. Overall, we've got tank crews to clean up and really light stuff now that are just kind of in nasty predicaments. We do have this artillery piece, but uh, inaccurate and... Not really going to be good for us. Alright. Oh, he knocked himself out with that. Alright, two of those finished off. Absolute guy's gonna be promoted to Stalin or something after this. That's two down. Okay, we still need to get rid of that uh, tank destroyer there. Oh, 
There we go. We got a little engine fire. That'll get them out of there. And now we just need to send our infantry this way. To then deal with the enemy. Alright, a little messy cleanup, but uh, much better than I was expecting in terms of dealing with the tanks. Well, we still have this Tiger here, which is going to be annoying. And this, uh, oh, Panzer IV, that's being a jerk. Let's go ahead and find some more charges. Well, it's always good to have a tank in the rear to try to clean up. There we go. But this is why you got to make use of all that equipment. Go ahead and head back here. Clear it out, boys. Nice. All right, we got a German crew member bailing. Oh, it's a friendly? Oh. Okay. Tiger there is good. I, I'd say we're good at this one. Um, it's really nothing to clean up except for just some German infantry out there. Got multiple squads in the way. Gonna go ahead and tell the troops to advance. You know, is there an attack move function? That at least will keep them. Well, I don't think there's one that'll keep them sprinting, but we'll use attack move to the back. The only thing left, I guess, is like the tiger tank, which I guess counts. Oh my god, nobody has anti tank grenades. Oh, here we go, two. And these probably aren't even enough to destroy the tiger. And as you saw before, they just seemingly are throwing them. Like Molotovs and just burning themselves up. Okay, let's go ahead and throw a charge here. Idiots. There we go, damn it. Good enough. We will be remembered for centuries. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Wow. Lots of losses, too. Both sides. But we win. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for leaving a like. Thanks for all the kindness, positivity, and awesomeness down below in the comment section. Hope to see you soon. Let me know what you think of this mission and the DLC. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.